Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on performing a multiple regression SPSS using the backward elimination method. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in the SPSS data editor fictitious data that I'll be using for this example. And I have four variables here that I'm going to use as predictor variables for this regression and one outcome variable. The outcome variable is final exam and the predictor variables or independent variables are writing rubric, midterm exam, skills rubric, and final presentation. So let's assume that we've gathered these data from some type of counseling training program and we want to be able to predict this final exam score by using one or more of these independent variables, these predictor variables, writing rubric, midterm exam, skills rubric, and final presentation. And further, let's assume that all these scores have been converted to T-scores. That's a standard score with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. So just looking at these data without conducting any analysis, we don't know if any of these variables have a statistically significant impact on the variance of final exam. None of these variables could make a contribution or one, two, three, or four. We don't know. And there are a few different methods for including and excluding variables systematically in order to work toward a regression model that is optimal for predicting this final exam score, this outcome variable. So let's take a look under Analyze, Regression, and Linear. This is the dialog for Linear Regression, SPSS. And we can see there's one text box here for the dependent variable, that's the outcome variable. We know that's going to be final exam. And then we have this independent variable list box. And I'm going to move all four variables all four predictor variables over to this list box. Under statistics for this example I'm, I'm demonstrating backward elimination so I'm not going to focus too much on these other options including covering the assumptions of regression. However under statistics I am going to add R squared change to the default items already checked off. No changes under plots, no changes under save options or style. We can see here under this independent variable list box, there's a method. And by default, the method is set to enter. So with enter, all of these predictor variables are entered into the model at the same time. Here we're going to be looking at backward elimination. So I'm going to move down. They're stepwise, remove, backward, and forward. Move down to backward. So the way this backward elimination method works is at the start, all of the variables are loaded into the regression equation. So writing rubric, midterm exam, skills rubric, and final presentation, all of these predictor variables are loaded into the model. And then the predictor variable with the highest p-value, as long as that p-value is greater than or equal to 0.1, is eliminated. So the, the variable, the predictor variable with the highest p-value, as long as it meets that criterion, greater than or equal to 0.1, is excluded. And then it moves to the variable with the next greatest p-value. And it repeats that process until all of the variables that have a p-value greater than or equal to 0.1 are excluded. So what you have at the end of the process, the remaining variables, they will all have a probability value less than 0.1. So let's take a look at the output for this. I'll click OK. And I'm going to move up here a bit so we can look at the syntax. So we can see here criteria. We have probability in 0.05 and probability out. 
0.10. So this is probability in, that's for a forward selection, and probability out, or probability to remove, that's for a backward elimination. So you can see we can change this, but by default, for forward selection, it's 0 0.05, and for backward elimination, and that's the example I'm doing here, it's 0 0.10 by default. We look here at the first table, we have variables entered, removed, and we can see that all of the variables were loaded initially, which is of course what we'd expect with backward elimination. And then for model two, the skills rubric variable is removed. And you can see here the criterion for that, probability of F to remove greater than or equal to 0.1. And that's up here, as I demonstrated before. Probability out, probability to remove. So as we move down to the model summary, we can see for model one, the R square, we'll use the adjusted R square here, was 0.24, so 24% of the variance in the final exam was explained, in this case, by a combination of all the variables. And then for model two, the model that includes all the variables except for the skills rubric, the adjusted R-squared dropped to 23.5%, 0.235. Looking down here at ANOVA, this ANOVA tests the null hypothesis that the slope of the regression equation is zero, so we can reject the null hypothesis here for both model one and model two. Moving down to coefficients, here's where we can kind of see how the backward elimination evaluated each variable. So in model one, of course, we're going to have every variable loaded. Moving to model two, you can see that it retained writing rubric, midterm exam, and final presentation. Look at the corresponding p-values, 0.008 for writing rubric, 0.003 for midterm exam, and 0.017 for final presentation. All of these values are less than 0.1. Looking at model one, though, in the skills rubric, we can see that the probability value associated with the skills rubric is 0.212, which, of course, is greater than 0.1, so it was excluded. It was eliminated, and we can see here in excluded variables, model two, skills rubric, the p-value 0.212, this variable is excluded. So model two is what we would be going with here which has just the writing rubric, midterm exam, and final presentation, and excludes the skills rubric. So I mentioned before the probability in value here, the 0 0.05. This is for forward selection, and of course the probability out for backward elimination. So just to compare, let's look at the forward selection. And I can run this right from the statistics viewer, or I could go back to the data editor. I'll just use the statistics viewer. So we analyze regression linear. The only change I need to make here is under method, moving from backward to forward. So I'm moving from backward elimination to forward selection. And forward selection works by starting with an empty regression model. So no variables loaded into the model. And it adds the variable with the lowest p-value as long as that p-value is less than or equal to 0 0.05. That's the default alpha value for a forward selection SPSS. And then with that variable in, the equation moves to the variable with the next highest p-value. And as long as that's less than or equal to 0 0.05, including the variable that's already in there, or any variable that's already in the regression equation, it will add it to the model. So it'll just keep adding as long as that criterion is met. So let's take a look at this. I'll click OK. And we can see in this example, we have model one, two, and three. So the model starts empty. So for this first model run, for model one, we just have the midterm exam. Criterion, probability of F to enter. 
less than or equal to 0 0.05. Again, if I move up here, you can see that in the syntax. So moving down to the model summary, we have three models here. And we can see up here from variables entered and removed that it added midterm exam, writing rubric, and final presentation, but it did not add skills rubric. And we can see the adjusted R square increased, in this case, each time as another variable was added. And again, all three ANOVAs here were statistically significant, so we can reject the null hypothesis that the slope of the regression equation is zero. And moving down to coefficients, we can see for model one, midterm exam, statistically significant. The model two, midterm exam, still statistically significant, and writing rubric is as well, below 0 0.05. And then for model three, we have all three variables, midterm exam, writing rubric, and final presentation, and all the values are still less than 0 0.05. Moving down to excluded variables, for model three, we'll take a look at model three, we can see the skills rubric excluded the p-value 0.212. So in this case, the backward elimination method and the forward selection method gave us the same result. The variables that would be in the final regression equation, the predictor variables would be midterm exam, writing rubric, and final presentation. The backward elimination method and the forward selection method do not always produce the same result. They did in this case, but they don't always produce the same result. You could get two different models from backward elimination and forward selection. I hope you found this video on running a multiple regression, SPSS, using the backward elimination method to be helpful. And thanks for watching.